Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome back to the Tour de France 2021 playthrough with the Ineos Grenadiers and today we have the first mounting stage of this year's Tour de France. I'm very much looking forward to it but before that let's take a look back at the last episode where we did stage number 7. A fairly hilly stage, um, it was the most hilly stage yet but nothing compared to what we're going to see today and positive to see that our three main guys, Kovatkovsky, Bernal and Adam Yates were all in there. Um, they are going to be our three main competitors now. I'm a little bit surprised that it is Kovatkovsky and not Garant Thomas. It seems that Garant Thomas just hasn't quite got what it takes this year. So our main man obviously is Bernal, but we're taking Yates and Kovatkovsky with us as backups. Um, and obviously Gagan Hart and Grant Thomas can both be solid in the mountains, but they're not really up there now in terms of the general classification. You can see Kovatkovsky is bang on level with Rog League um, at the moment. Yates 30 seconds behind and Bernal 44 seconds behind. So it's not looking too bad at all. We'd like to gain a little bit of time with Bernal. Bernal's lost time really was all because of the time trial, which he did quite poorly in. Uh, but all the same, you know, in all these stages, if the likes of Rog Leek or a Philippe or Pogacher do blow up, there is an opportunity to make big, big time up. Um, mountain classification really starts to kick in today, but we do have the polka dot jersey, and Van der Poel has got the green jersey. But without any further ado, let's get into the next stage, stage number eight. I'm really excited for this. Hope you guys are too. And make sure to leave a like down below if you are enjoying this content. And this is going to be a bit of pressure for us. You know, it is really where... It all starts to get important, this, the next two days. And that is the stage. It's going to be tough at the end. It really is. Um, got to survive three big climbs on one feed. I'm sure we can tackle it. Um, but, you know, let, let's see how we go. I don't, not sure if they're going to suggest anybody goes in the breakaway or anything like that. Um, but, obviously, Bernal is one of the favourites for the stage to see if he can win. Uh, the big benefit is that it's not one climb after another as such. You've got that um, that bit of a break after the climbs whereby you have the descent. So you can hopefully gain a little bit of your energy. Uh, Roger League, Pogacher and Van Aert are the favourite for today's stage. So, you know, we're not in the top three. But I think banala has got to be in the top five in terms of favourites. And today's possibly not so much. But tomorrow's is going to be absolutely huge. And that's going to come on Saturday. But I still think today's going to be fairly important. So... Let's get into stage number eight. Hello to all. With a formidable triptych of Côte de mont saxonne Col de Rome and Col de la Colombière, the first alpine stage of this Tour de France is already an important rendezvous for the contenders for final victory. Well, I must confess, I didn't think the first climb was this close. Goodness me. This is an interesting one, isn't it? Um, we're not going to go in the breakaway today because, to be to be brutal um, it's not going to be something we can benefit from to be quite honest we've got um, Bernal obviously Yates is man number two I would think Kvatkovsky is in quite a poor condition for today's stage but Gagenhardt's in a good condition so I think it might be Gagenhardt that comes with us but interesting that we have got the likes of um, Rog Leek going for it you know Rog Leek just in behind us but I don't think I'm going to be fooled by this but you know what no we're not going to be we're not going to go in there I think, you know, it is with these things, it's a marathon uh, and not a sprint. And there's nobody particularly going that's really, you know, uh, really making a claim here. And thinking, oh, you know, this is going to be someone that makes us go for this. So, we're going to stay where we are. Um, I think we're going to get probably, uh, let's have a look. Let's get Gagenhardt to protect Bernal. We'll get Grant Thomas to protect Yates. Um, and we'll get Dennis to protect Kovatkovsky. And I think we'll go from there. It's going to be the second half of the stage where it really gets interesting today. Um, so let's see how we go. Well, it looks like the first half of the stage isn't going to be too taxing at all, to be honest. There's this climb to come. Um, then we have our first feed. After this, you can see that there's a 10-strong breakaway. Now, that could win today. You never know. There's nobody that's too challenging for the general classification. So that shouldn't be a worry. But yeah, it should be an interesting one. They've got a five-and-a-half-minute gap. Nobody really losing any energy, so no problem there. And like I say, we just want to protect our main guys before the end of the stage um, for those last few climbs, because that's really going to be where the stage is decided, I think. Well, we're not going to worry about this sprint. There are only five points up for grabs, um, so we're going to let you know a few guys take those. I'm not too fussed about that. Van Aert has gone in a little bit of a break here, which is a little bit of a concern, um, because we are about to start 
the first big climb of the day, the second class climb. Now, it seems like those guys at the front are most certainly going to win this stage. You know, it seems like that's definitely going to happen. Uh, but obviously, in terms of the general classification, it's going to be somebody in this group. Which is why we're going to try and get away here. Try and get something going just to cause a little bit of a change in the peloton. Um, be better if we're better placed, to be brutally honest. Which is something we are struggling with a little bit at the moment. So if we get Gagenhart to attack, let's just get on the back of him first and follow him. That's it. Okay. No, not him. Let's get Gagenhart to attack. And we'll just follow him. See how this goes. Is it a risk? I'm not sure, but let's see. Right, Gagenhart's going. And we're going to follow him. Let's see how this goes for us. So Fuse trying to follow. Just keep an eye on our energy. Okay, we can turn that off now. Interestingly, it's just pocket share that's come with us at the moment. And we haven't used a lot of our blue energy, so I don't think that's going to be too much of a concern. Um, just need to make sure Gagenhart's not pushing too much. Probably go back 70%, something like that. But, you know, there are a few guys that come with us. Pogashare's come, trontana has got him. Yep, Pogashare's going to get his team to ride behind us. But like, like I say, we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. There's no harm. It certainly broke up the peloton. Whether that was something that was going to happen or not, I guess we'll find out. But we just need to make sure that we keep Gagenhart with us. Um, so we'll just slow down the pace slightly. Pogashare is chasing after us, as you can see here. So this could rock the peloton a little bit, which is what we're aiming to do here. We'll just get tucked in behind Tao again. And there's not too long to go in this climb now. I think we're just a couple of kilometres away. And it was our red gel that we used mostly there, so not much of a concern, I would say. Just checking back with our guys. Ganner's struggling, so he'll need... Uh, well, we might just have to let him, let him drop off, because it, it just seems too early to use feed. With 50k's to go, knowing of course that we have got quite a long way to go. Was it worth it? I'm not sure, because we are starting to slow the pace down a little bit now. Um, and the peloton is slightly starting to come back towards us. But equally, the likes of Van Aert and Rodgerlich are going to get a little bit worried by this. Um, so we're going to put one last push in, I think, here. Purely because we can um, get the time back as we come down this mountain. So we're going to put a push in here with both Bernal um, and Teo. Just to see if we can rock the boat again. We know from uh, my series that Teo's pretty good on the climbs. So we're just sticking behind him once again. Force the pace. Teo's starting to struggle a little bit now. So, Like I say, we've got about a kilometre to go. So that shouldn't be an issue. And no, it's not all about winning the stage. I accept that. But equally, it's just all about making sure we don't lose any time uh, to the favourites. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Again, we've got a little bit more energy to push, potentially, before the end of this climb. Just to see if we can take the guys with us and see if they'll react to that. Be proactive, I guess, rather than reactive. But there's a group of 18 riders that have uh, followed here. So we've got Gagenhart. Most of the big men are in it. Um, but I guess potentially Rodgerlik will be a little bit concerned. Because I think he's in that peloton group. If we have a quick check, Rodgerlik's in the sixth group. Which one's the sixth group? So he is with us, Rodrick, somewhere in this 18. I can't see him, but he's obviously with it, us somewhere. But I think that was maybe a good decision. I don't know. We've got um, a little bit of time to get our energy back, which is good news. Just Gagenhart's come with us for the moment, so we've just got to bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, let's see how we go. So the first first-class climb of this tour. I hope Gagenhart's got what it takes, because we definitely do need a, a second man to help. No question about that. Unfortunately, all the rest of our guys are in that peloton group. But we knew that we needed somebody to help us today. And that man should be Teo Gagenhart. It's a fairly long climb though. It's nine kilometres. Um, you can see that the top group are going to stay where they are. Just whether any of them blow up really before the end. And it might come down to the final climb. I don't know. But 
It could also come down to this. If we can put a push in, we will. We're going to just try to follow Gagan Hart at the moment. Um, we'll just see where he is. He looks okay at the moment. He is good in the mountains. I used him in our uh, pro team career last year. And he did a very good job. As you can see, Jacob Fuglesang putting a bit of pace in. Roger Leake is in this group. He's no doubt using Van Aert. Um, and interestingly, a few behind starting to catch up as well. So, it might only be temporary. I don't know. We'll see. But we are setting a good pace here. And it's just a consistent climb up to the end. We'll just put Gagan Hart to persist smoothly for a little bit. Just to make sure he doesn't use too much energy up. Because equally, yes, we could let him blow up. But I think we'd, I'd like to have him there for the second climb. I don't think there's any new, real use uh, for us really pounding the pace this early on in the climb anyway. Maybe a little bit later, but not this early on. We've just got to wait to see if anybody reacts. Interesting that Rodgelik's coming to the front of the group. We might look to follow Rodgelik here. Lander's going to attack. It's just all whether anybody reacts. We're going to be a little bit more reactive this time rather than proactive ourselves. Seems that a few are going for it. But I think just a bit of a bluff. We'll increase our pace slightly, but nothing too ridiculous. It's all about managing the pace on these climbs. It's crucial. Teo looks a little bit tired. So he might... Let's just take control of him. Give him a little bit of his feed. I think he might just need a little bit of that feed. The worry is, is he might fall off this group. So we'll just take control of him for a little while. Just to make sure he's okay. But he might not have what it takes here. There you go. The pace has just slowed down again. For a little while. That helped to recover some energy. But he's fallen a little bit behind the group. And that's the last thing you want to do. So we're just going to get on the back of the group. Hope to get a bit mid-group. Somewhere like that. That's perfect. We can just keep the pace now. Got 5k's to go. I think he should make it to the top. Got an eye on Egan Bernal in front. And if anybody pushes, we'll just have to keep an eye on them. But he's looking okay here. It's just a concern that obviously he might tail off and we don't want that. Yeah, the league group's going to win this. There's no question about that. But there's nobody important for the general classification there. But what we are going to do with Banal is I think we're going to start to push it a little bit here. See what we can do. And this will probably separate the group. It probably means we'll leave Gagan Hart behind. But let's just try and put a bit of a push in. Obviously not too much. Make sure we don't use too much of our blue gel. Ideally, we want to have a full feed going up to the final climb of the day. That's the ambition. No, we're not going not gonna to necessarily get away here, but we're going to force the pace. Yeah, Gagan Hart has been dropped. Um, you know, if he is dropped, then that's, that's it. You know, we can't really do too much about that. Bernal is our main man, and really Grant Thomas should be our second man, but he just hasn't been there throughout this Tour de France so far. And it's been a valiant effort so far for Gagan Hart, and if we do win this stage, a lot of it is going to be down to him. It really is. We might wait till there's a couple of kilometres to go, and then we might make another push, knowing that we do have a descent before uh, the next climb, so we can regain the energy we've lost here. That's the key, you know, that's where the stages get really hard, where... You've got climb after climb with no break. And you can't recover your energy. You have to use a feed then. You've got no choice. But all the best climbers you'd suggest. The majority of them in this queue. It's just, just about. We'd like, be great to drop some of the big low, big guys. Benali's going to lose his polka dot jersey today. But that's just going to be a temporary thing. I'm not too fussed about that. Going to put a bit of a charge in once again. The last kilometre. We'll wait till we've got 1k to go. And we'll push it, really push it, see what we can do. And you can see Van Avermaet just in front. We are going to catch up to a few of these guys. It might only be the top three that stay with it till the end of the day. Vlasov is protecting somebody. We'll wait till there's a kilometre to go. We'll keep stick to our guns. It starts to level out a little bit with a K to go. And there's the line there you can see. So we'll just put a bit of pace in. Try and create a little bit of a gap. Those who are struggling, they will fall off the back of this group. That's the aim. 
And we're okay. We just don't want to blow up. That's all. That's okay. Put a bit more pace in. We're nearly there at the top. This is good. This is good. I haven't got much energy left. But we should be okay. You can see it's spaced the um, group out a little bit, which is encouraging. And it's just Pogashare and uh, Rosleek who's with us at the moment. In fact, it's just Pogashare. So, you know, do we put a bit more of a pushing coming down here? Let's see. I mean, it was Van Aert who was the favourite for this stage, the third favourite. But he's not really been anywhere to be seen. So we'll just try and gain some more energy coming down here. Because it's been quite taxing that last climb for us. But all the, all you know, all worth it for gaining a little bit of energy. And then we have the final climb of the day. And it's going to be a freeway battle. These are the three guys that you expected. You know, none of their teammates have made it this far. So, you know, no excuse that, well, you know, such and such was there to protect me or whatever. Unless the likes of Lopez catch up behind. I don't know if Lopez um, is in anybody's team. There's a movie star rider. No. None of the riders behind are going to come and protect the others. So this is a, an interesting combination. And to our advantage, we've got a full feed left. Which I can imagine these guys have got too. But it's going to be interesting. I'll just leave you for a second as we come down here. Don't want to make it too long. A um, few seconds while we come down here. And then we'll do the last climb of the day. So they've accelerated straight away. The two guys ahead have gone for it. And we can't lose any time. But we've got a full feed with this one. We know that as an advantage. We can't go for too long here. I hope they're not planning on going for too long themselves. So we are going to run out of red gel very quickly. Just catch up to the back again. Yep, that's okay. Absolutely fine. So who are we with here? Parmesan. Just try and gain some energy back. But we have got a full feed to use here if we want. We know we've got that in our back. And Pogacar is going again. Lopez has joined us. Just hoping they don't attack for too long. So we might need to take a little bit of our feed here. Well, it's not red feed we need, is it really? That will increase over time. But equally, might as well take half of it. They're tough, these mountain stages. You forget how tough they are. And we might just win this stage overall, you know. You never know how quick the top three are going to go. We're going to try and force the pace a little bit here. But not for too long. We'll just come off the pedal now. Is it fairly consistent till the end? Yeah, there's a little bit of a drop. So we can pretty much get away with using all of our feed here. We just cannot be caught napping. In it's early days. That is really crucial. So four Ks to go. Pogashare. Just Pogashare now. Rog Leak has fallen back. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Rog Leak has lost it. That is a real bonus. And the impetus would be to go full hammer and tongs to try and gain as much as possible. Um, has Rog Leak maybe gone back for a teammate? No, he hasn't. So, interesting. It looks like we're going to try and go it alone here. Just have a look at everyone behind us. Gagan Hart is looking okay. Probably take the rest of his blue gel. But this is looking good. This is really looking good. Pogashar has come with us. Do you think we're going to overtake um, Rog League today? The way it's going. Which is good news. Pretty much take the last of our blue feed now. We're in a little bit of an uncomfortable position. I'd like to have maybe sort of where the red feed is. I'd like to have a little bit more. But if we can get sort of 2Ks at this level, I don't think we should have a problem. Don't think Pogashare is going to push it too much. I think he's just going to stay where he is because Banal is one of the best climbers. If Banal's in this position, then Pogashare is going to be in a similar one. But Rog Lake is about a minute behind. We'll try and push it a little bit um, soon. Like a push before the end of the climb. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, we'll take the last of our blue feed. That's it. That is it for us now. It does get tight here. But Rog Leak is still a minute behind. And that's going to be a tough gap to get back. 
It's just all about not blowing up. Not doing anything stupid. That's the main thing. We don't blow up. We're safe. Would be nice for Pocket Share to come and lead the group, you know, at some point. Hint, hint. It doesn't seem he wants to play too much ball. So, if we can, we're not going to play too much ball with him, if you get me drift. We're going to get to the one kilometre line and put a bit of a shift in here. See if we can get a little bit of an attack going. Just got to be careful we don't use too much of our blue energy to blow up before the end. Obviously, we know what we can get away with so long. Pogashare, we've gapped him. This could be a big day for Bernal. And as you can see, it's not been too taxing for us. We're okay. I think we can just get away with that. This is going to be a big day for Bernal if we can keep this going. You know, do we go for a final push? you just got to be careful you're not too greedy, ultimately. We'll go for a push. Go on, we can get past this guy. That's it, lovely. Nice one. And we're over the top of the climb. We can drop down now. It was marginal that, but we've gapped Pogashev by a minute and 20 and Rodgelik by two minutes. This is a big, big day. What a great day this has been. It's been brilliant for us. But I think the key is, is that we win the war. Not just win the battle here. We've got to win the war. You know, it's been great for us today. We're going to gain a minute and a half, it looks like, on Pogashev. And... Two and a half minutes on Rog League. To do that in any stage is brilliant. We're not going to push it too much. We might do as we get to the end, you know, though, here. Let's see if we can gain as much time on uh, the two behind as possible. As I say, get a little bit greedy at this point. But this has been a great stage. We're not going to quite win it. I thought we could have done that at one point, but it didn't quite happen for us, unfortunately. But a brilliant stage for Banal. We're going to finish third. I'll take that. Excellent stuff. Really good stuff. We'll see if we can uh, get to the end with one of our guys. Why can't we? Ah, right. Okay, fair enough. So, Gagenhart second uh, in terms of our rider list. It's not been a bad day for him at all. Really hasn't. We might as well just really turn on the style here with Gagenhart. That's the, that's the thing, you know. You can only control one rider, unfortunately. And even though the riders blow up, but in, in some points you feel, well, you know... They, they... That can take a bit more. You know, you can you can really push it if you like. That's exactly what I'm going to try and do with Gagenhart here. Just to try and get as much time as we possibly can. It's every second count. There's no point dawdling to the end if we've got pace. Only sick for Rodgelik in the end. I think he'll be disappointed with that. But a good day for us. Really good day. So Gagenhart's in this 10th group. He's going to finish at least 16th. If not higher. And a few of our guys in the 15th group. But again, you know, they're in the 15th group. You think, oh god, that's terrible. But really, it's not. They're probably in the top 20 there. Just try and get all the pace possible at the end. And Gagenhart finishes 15th. Think he'll take that at the end of the day. And for the rest of the guys, will just finish the stage. It's going to be a bad day, obviously, for Kovakovsky and Adam Yates. But we always knew that Bernal was our main man. And I think, without risk of jinxing anything here, we should have took the yellow jersey. There we go. That's more like it. Hopefully, that's the way it stays now. Egan Bernal has got the general classification. He's got the yellow jersey. That is exactly how I hope it stays. Absolutely excellent. I just hope that wasn't, like you say, a battle and not a war that we've just won. The podium is good, but I was expecting more from you. Oh, stop whinging. Stop whinging. We've gained a minute and a half on bloody Pogashare. Two and a half minutes on Roch League. You know, Jacob Fuglesang is worlds behind. Let's have a look at this. You know, Bernal's top by a minute. He's got a minute on the field. That is huge. Adam Yates still 11th. You know, we've still got four riders in the top 20. But all of a sudden, you know, this turns into, I would think, really a three-way battle. Which is what we were expecting between Bernal... Pogashare and Rojlik. And there will be days where we lose time, but that is a really nice cushion to have. Best climber classification, Bernal K is not going to be top because the top three were all in the breakaway, but again, it's good. Points classification, you know, the likes of Van der Poel weren't going to be there today, but neither was Kovakovsky or Yates. I think we've just got to go fully for the general classification this year. 
I think what we did a little bit last year was focus too much on the breakaways and the points, but we did something very clever there, and that was to keep Gagenhart with us for as long as we could. He really protected us in that, those early climbs, allowed Bernal to save the energy he needed. It was touch and go, but he, he just about got there. And this is the biggest day so far. Three first-class climbs, two second-class climbs. That is really going to sort the men from the boys. And you'll be able to see that one on Saturday. And uh, it should be great. I am really looking forward to it. And I think it's going to be huge. It really is going to be huge. Of course, there's this one. Um, flat stage is another mountain stage. And there's a few other mountain stages in there um, until the end of the Tour de France. But if we can keep the yellow jersey for now, it just keeps us a nice cushion. But... Uh, I don't think it's going to go as well as today did. That was a really good stage. And if you guys enjoyed that as well, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Comment your thoughts as well and subscribe for regular Tour de France content. Thank you very much for your company, folks. I've been TIJ Gaming and I'll see you guys in the next stage on Saturday. Goodbye for now.